Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your September the 12th just for today in a meditation. The title of today's meditation, New Horizon. My life is well-rounded and I'm becoming a more comfortable version of myself, not the neurotic, boring person that I thought I'd be without the drugs. Is there really life without drugs? Newcomers are sure that they are destined to lead a humdrum existence once they quit using. That fear is far from reality. Narcotics Anonymous opens the door to a new way of life for our members. The only thing we lose in NA is our slavery to drugs. We gain a host of new friends, time to pursue hobbies, the ability to stably be stably employed, even the capacity to pursue an education if we so desire. We are able to start projects and see them through to completion. We can go to a dance and feel comfortable, even if we have two left feet. We start to budget money to travel, even if it's only with a tent to a nearby campsite. In recovery, we find out what interests us and pursue new pastimes. We dare to dream. Life is certainly different when we have the rooms of Narcotics Anonymous to return to. Through the love we find in NA, we begin to believe in ourselves. Equipped with this belief, we venture forth into the world to discover new horizons. Many times, the world is a better place because an NA member has been there. Just for today, I can live a well-rounded, comfortable life, a life I've never dreamed existed. Recovery has opened new horizons to me and equipped me to explore them. Are you exploring? Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So my question is, are you exploring? Are you daring to dream? Or are you still somehow ruminating about the past and wishing that if you could just get high one more time? Bring the excitement back. That is not reality. Because it was exciting initially, probably for most of us, partying, hanging out, meeting people that were getting high just like ourselves. But eventually, it, it was the consequence that came with the getting high that shook us, right? The toll on our physical body, the toll on our families, the toll that it took on our minds. And it seemed like life just stayed still in time. Everything else around us was moving on. People were, were becoming less interested in being bothered with us. Yeah. And so when we think about it, if we're looking back on those days, I wish I could get high. Mm, no. I don't wish that I could get high. Because I remember what it did to me. Today is a different life. Today I could actually set a goal and meet it. I have other things in my life besides education, right? I have hobbies. I have the people that I love meeting up with. And as a result of that, I have, most importantly, I have a relationship with God. More than anything else, I'm of the mindset that I can have prayer and meditation with my higher power and enjoy it. It's not something that, that I just do because I'm in trouble. It's something that I enjoy doing daily. My life is a lot different. And I'm pretty sure that if you're listening, 
your life is a lot different than when you were getting high. And if you miss it, ask your higher power, ask God to take that longing away from you, that desire away from you. Ask him to take the taste of it out of your mouth and out of your mind and body. And I'm sure, I'm sure your God will answer you. Mine did. My name is Mighty Stream. I enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose.